Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys a short story perhaps on how I managed to get the limited edition vlog says Hashibira Inusuke Funko Pop. So I treasure this journey so much because it's so fun. But if you don't want to listen to this story, you can just skip this video to the middle part of this video because I'm going to make an unboxing of Inusuke Hall. I've got some merch to open. I will also unbox every other anime merchandise that I got. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Okay, so the story began a few weeks ago when I went out with my friend to KLCC because I wanted to go to Kinokuniya. I have not been there for months. And there I was searching for my first manga here and I bought them. And then I also saw some Funko Pops there. But unfortunately, they only have Kamado Tanjiro and also Kibutsuji Muzan. And there is no Enosuke. I am prioritizing my favorite character first, you know. And then I also saw this an art book or guidebook of Demon Slayer. It was really pretty, all the official artworks in there by the author, but sadly the price is too expensive. It was 97 ringgit and I was like, I will never get this, you know. So after eating and uh, all those things, we went for movies and we went to Mid Valley because I also know few anime merchandise and also a Funko Pop store in Mid Valley. You can call it official Funko Pop store in Malaysia, I guess. Sheldonet is the name of the store. We also went to the anime shop called Ace Card and Collectibles. My friend got the Naruto guest box figures and I also get the One Piece random box figures. And after that, we went to the Sheldonet and check out the Funko Pops there. At first, when I went there months ago, last year I think, I was expecting some anime Funko Pops there, animation Funko Pops there because I was searching for um, Midoriya Izuku and Katsuki Bakugo at that moment but they did not have them. So this time when I went there, I wasn't expecting any Kimetsu no Yaiba Funko Pops. But as soon as I get in, I saw the comments 5 Demon Slayer characters Funko Pops in front of the Keisha. It was displayed in a box. So after the seller showed me the Demon Slayer Funko Pops, I went and looked at it and grabbed the comment Shibira Inosuke Funko Pop and then I went seeing other animation anime Funko Pops like from My Hero Academia and Dragon Balls and others and after that when I went to pay for the one that I got the seller told me that every purchase of Demon Slayer Funko Pop even just one purchase you can get a chance to be in the lucky draw where you put the receipts in this box that have Kama to Tanjiro in it and I was like oh cool like that's so fun to do so I was like after I paid and I put my receipts in there and yeah I wasn't expecting anything because usually I don't win this kind of thing but few days later at home I got a text from that store saying that I was chosen I was picked so pick me choose me love me from the lucky draw and I was like am I going to win any Demon Slayer Franco Pops because I don't listen carefully when the seller told me that you actually got the chance to buy the limited edition Funko Pop of Demon Slayer, you know? And when I read the tag, I was like, oh, so you can choose. You are the winner to actually choose some limited edition of Demon Slayer Funko Pops. And the choices were Kamado Tanjiro, Flame, The Glow in the Dark One, and also Hashibira Inosuke Flock Chase. And at that moment, I was like, oh, this Inosuke must be the Flock Chase one, but the one that have the bow mask, not the one without the mask, because I was expecting the one without the mask should be more expensive because it is very limited. I don't really know how this case works, but when I went to the internet and Twitter, I saw some posts saying that the probability for you to get the Inosuke Flock Chase one without the mask is 1 over 6. When you bought the Chase one, you have 
to buy six of them and among the six you will get one flock chase hashibira inusuke without the mask so that's why people are selling it very expensive on the internet and i already surveyed them firsthand as soon as they released the demon slayer funko pop the first website that i checked was the hobby digital.com because i know that's like official people usually buy anime merchandise there because it's trusted and could convert the money to rm and all that but there i tell you it was 250 or 230 for that Hashibira Inusuke Flock Chase one and they only got two stock at the moment and after that I also search other places like Carousel because usually people will resell them because they know collectors will buy them even how expensive it would be because these people are rich <laughs> I saw them selling at 350 330 so be that's why because I got this chant it was way below those prices and that's why I thought it was just the normal flock chase with the mask which is not that that limited is not as limited as the one without the mask so at first i was going to decline that offer i told my friend i got uh, this lucky draw and they were like if it's not the one without the mask maybe you don't have to get it you know and i was like yeah i agree but uh, as soon as i'm going to decline it i told the seller like thank you for the opportunity but i am going to get you my answer before this 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 time because i think i would be missing out the chance if i'm going to decline it as soon as that so my brilliant brain after that got this idea of searching the image and i told the seller is this the one that i could buy and they replied yes with the smiley and i was like oh my god i have to get this one it was way cheaper and original and limited edition and blah 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 and then i told my friends oh it's actually the one that i wanted and they were like oh yeah see you have to get it this is your chance so i straight away answered yes i will accept that offer after i accept the deal the seller was like okay we will notify you once the figure is at the store and you will come and pick it up and not even three days it was like one to two days later they texted me hi uh, your Hashibira Inosuke flip chase is available at the store and you can come and pick it up and I was like I still have my doubt at that moment you know because I was like what if the seller said it was the one without the mask but once I came to the store they were like oh I'm so sorry it was actually the one with the ball mask and you know so I briefly asked them can I have some pictures if I can you know and they were like okay here it is and when I saw the pictures I was screaming because it is the one that I wanted this is not a scam fraud or anything so I was like so excited and luckily on that week i have plans with my friends on tuesday so i went out with them went for kaya at putrajaya and some food hunting and after that my friend dropped me by and accompanied me at mid valley went to the store and take it the funny thing happened was after the seller finished input every data that they have to collect and everything she took my picture with the proof of picking the Hashibira Inosuke up and after that she was like thank you and enjoy it and I was like I was looking at her and she was looking at me and my bank card is still on my hand and the other seller was like oh he hasn't paid yet then I went home happy so these are some footages that I took along the way of picking it up at the store so let's watch it together <laughs> so here are some pages that i took along the way and i hope you could enjoy this moment because i did
story on how I managed to get the vlog cheese Hashibira Inusuke, the limited edition one. And after I went home, I haven't opened them yet and this is the first time I'm opening them. So now it's the second part of this video where I'm going to do an Inusuke haul. unbox all the merch that I bought in a few months back and let's begin so here it is Ta -da! you can see here and Besides these two, I will also be opening some other Inosuke merch, the Nandoroid, and this. Here they are, side by side. You know, this guy right here, it has some textures. It's furry on this side, in this part, and also for his feet. Not his feet, his pants down here. It's like furry. Okay, so now let's open other Inosuke merchandise that I got. This one is Tamagotchi. I got it at a very cheaper price.
this will be the last Enzuki merch that I will unbox now. I guess this remarks the Inosuke haul. Now I'm going to get other anime merchandise. I have like three to unbox. So Ta-da! Just open this one first. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for staying in until this part of the video. And to the new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing me. And I will post more videos soon. Don't forget to like and leave some comments. And bye!